When using Meraki Systems Manager with Apple devices, it's important to think about the two ways that you can grant an app license using Apple's Volume Purchase Program. You can grant an app license to an end user's Apple ID, or you can grant an app license directly to a device. Both methods allow you to grant and revoke the license indefinitely, so your institution always maintains ownership of the apps they purchase. In this video, we will show the process of granting and revoking an app license to an Apple ID. One of the biggest advantages of granting a VPP app license to an Apple ID is that the end users have the ability to sign into all of their personal devices with the same Apple ID and still have access to the app. That makes this method a good option for some one-to-one -one iPad deployments or in a scenario where your end users are already using Apple IDs. So here we have an iPad that's already enrolled in Cisco Meraki Systems Manager. To install a new app on this device using Apple's Volume Purchase Program, first navigate to Systems Manager and then VPP. Search for the app that you wish to install. There's currently no licenses for this app, which brings us to the first step. Step one, obtain licenses with Apple's Volume Purchase Program for the apps that you wish to install. Once you're logged into your VPP accounts, search for the apps that you wish to install. In this demo, I will install Swift Playgrounds. To use all the advantages of Apple's Volume Purchase Program, we still need to purchase apps that are free, like this one. Select a quantity of app licenses that's realistic for your deployment. Remember, you can always add more later if you need them. After the order is complete, head back to Meraki Systems Manager VPP page. If the VPP app license does not appear immediately, be sure to press the Force Sync Now button in the top right. This is a real-time sync of the VPP account with Apple into Meraki Systems Manager. When the sync completes, you'll now see the app with the quantity of licenses that you purchased with Apple. For this app, I can see that there's zero licenses in use and zero users. That brings us to our next step. Step two, invite the end user's Apple IDs. Head to the User Management tab in the top and click Add User. Fill in the user's information and click Send Invitations Automatically. At this point, another VPP sync happens automatically and the end user gets an invitation sent to their email address. Step three, the end user accepts the VPP invitation. Here's what the end user will experience. They'll sign into their email address and they'll see a new email coming from noreply at meraki.com. Click the link in this invitation. Depending on what device the end user's on, either iTunes will launch, the App Store will launch, or the Mac App Store will launch. This device is currently on a MacBook, so the invitation link launches the Mac App Store. The end user now signs into their Apple ID. This is the Apple ID that we will actually be granting the VPP licenses to. Note that the email address you're inviting and the Apple ID that they're accepting their invitation with could actually be different, so definitely keep that in mind. The end user may need to accept some terms and conditions, and then the process is complete. Now, back in the Meraki Systems Manager dashboard, another VPP sync completes, and then the user becomes associated. Step four, grant the VPP app license to the Apple ID. Now that the end user has become associated and accepted their invite, we can now grant the VPP app license to their Apple ID. You can see that the Apple ID that they accepted the invitation with in step three is the Apple ID that they're signed into this device with. Now to grant the VPP app license to this individual user, simply find the VPP app license, select the user, and then press Grant License to User. Now the app license becomes granted to that Apple ID. At this point, the end user can see the app as purchased in their purchased section in the App Store. However, the app hasn't actually installed itself yet. So that brings us to step five, install the app on the device. Now that we've granted the app license to the end user's Apple ID, we can install the app with Meraki Systems Manager so the end user doesn't need to do anything other than be signed into their Apple ID. Navigate to Systems Manager Apps. 
click on Add New in the top right, and then iOS App. Now we need to search for the same app that we purchased the VPP licenses for, and then add it. From this page, you control the scope of the devices that will attempt to install this app. For simplicity's purposes, I will keep this example as all devices, but feel free to customize the scoping via tags in your network. At the bottom of this page, you can see all the devices in scope. These are the devices that will attempt to install the app. Don't forget to save the page. Let's click on the device and watch the app install from Meraki's dashboard side. I've also overlaid the iPad's view in this demo, so you can see what the end user will experience in real time. Our app hasn't installed yet, so we see one app missing. If you scroll down to the activity log, we can see that the app install is pending. The device is online and unlocked, and now the app install begins. When the app install is finished, we can see that the app is now installed as a managed app. This means that we can update and remove the app from Meraki Systems Manager. Step six, remove the app from the device and revoke the VPP license. Head to Systems Manager Apps and remove the device from the app's scope, then save the page. At this point, the app will uninstall from the device. However, it's still using a VPP license. So now, go to Systems Manager VPP, then click on the app license and then revoke the license from user. The license is now revoked and added back to your VPP account so you can grant this license to a different user in the future. From the end user's point of view, they will also receive a notification letting them know that they no longer have access to this app. Furthermore, the app will no longer be listed as purchased in the App Store for them. And that's the process to use Apple's Volume Purchase Program with Cisco Meraki Systems Manager to grant and revoke app licenses to an Apple ID. For additional help and troubleshooting tips, be sure to visit documentation.meraki.com.